What's up everyone, Dan Savager here from Merger Data. And today I'm gonna to be walking through all of what you need to know about the Outlook extension for HubSpot. It is a topic that comes up over and over and again with our clients. And so I figured I might as well just make a video. You can watch it, figure this stuff out on your own. And so I'm gonna walk through all the different parts here, including all the questions around whether or not to use the browser version of Outlook, what to do if you're using the desktop, version of Outlook, if you're using a Mac, if you're using a PC, all this stuff. So let's go into it. We're going to start out with the fundamentals. Number one, you need to set up the HubSpot Sales Office 365 add-in. The desktop version is no longer supported by HubSpot. And so this is what you need to use. If you're installing this, number one, you should be an admin of your Microsoft organization so that you can go ahead and install it and approve it for everyone. Number two, if you have the desktop add-in, desktop extension installed, you need to remove that because they cannot have both. And so that's number one. Number two, for each individual user, when they connect their inbox, if you want things to automatically log to HubSpot, you should use this inbox automation checkbox right here. So if this is on, then a lot of the content coming through your email will be captured when you're sending people emails. That's number two. And so then we're going to get into the actual extension here in Outlook. Actually, not quite. The other thing is if you're using the desktop app rather than the browser version of Outlook, then you need to make sure if you're on a Mac, you're using the Microsoft 365 version, not the individually installed Outlook version. You need to get that Microsoft 365 app and then install Outlook through that. So that's how you need to configure it if you're gonna use the desktop version. Windows, you should already have it set up automatically in the correct way. They should have forced you into the correct setup with Office 365. And so once all that is taken care of, now the last thing that we need to do is go over to Outlook and check what our settings are inside of the extension. So if I've installed the extension correctly, it should appear up at the top when you're replying to an email or when you are clicked into an email. If you are not, this will be grayed out. So make sure you're gonna click into one. And so I pulled up this absolutely garbage cold email attempt. I'm not hating on the person for doing cold email. I'm hating on them for doing it poorly. Good for them for trying to go for it. Just not executed well, but either way, we're going to use this as an example. So I open this in a separate window. If I want to open my sales extension, I will. There will be no contact in HubSpot. There will never be for this person. But if I wanted to add them, I could click it. But that's not what we're in here for. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll in to the add-in settings. Click it. And then I'm going to go to the log in and track settings. And then I'm going to make sure that the log email and track email is already checked. And so the track email will be on, the log email may or may not. And then what we wanna do is make sure that our default associations are checked. I always recommend doing existing contacts, new contacts, companies, and deals. If you want to do tickets as well, you can. You can also deselect these depending on how you're using HubSpot and how you want it to associate. Now let's say that I did wanna to reply to the supposed Lisa here, which I doubt is her real name. Oh, it's junk, so it's not going to let me. Ooh. Mark is not junk, so we can reply here. Lucky day, Lisa. Reply all. And so then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see in here that HubSpot already has these checked. And so I can always uncheck this. Uncheck specific associations if I want. And then I can do a bunch of other actions. And so basically that's it. That is how you need to set up your Outlook extension. If you have all this set up, you should get better results with the extension, have it log to HubSpot automatically and stop missing out on all these emails that are coming through and contacts that just aren't in HubSpot or communications that are missed inside of HubSpot. So this should reduce your administrative load. So if you have any questions, make sure to book a call. Link in the description below. There's a lot more to HubSpot than just this. This is a very fundamental beginner topic that we usually cover when we're onboarding clients but it gets a lot deeper than that. We can show you exactly what we mean. There's a lot that you can use within HubSpot to grow faster and grow efficiently. So make sure to reach out to our team. I'm Dan Savedra from Merger Data.
Thanks for watching.